welcome back to another episode. My name is Storm. I am a C4-5 incomplete spinal cord injury. And today we have another exciting video on some of the latest news surrounding health, science, spinal cord injury and recovery going on around the world. So please like this video and watch the full video for more Stormy and Friends. Baby, it's really whatever. Stormy no matter the weather. Entrepreneur Elon Musk and his high profile surgical robot company Neuralink, which was created in 2016, now has a two year history into connecting brains to computers. Elon and his team at Neuralink are developing a system of ultra thin electrodes that thread into the brain to read from or stimulate neurons. The design has changed significantly and now resembles a small coin around 8 millimeters in diameter, which houses electrodes that are about 1 20th the thickness of a strand of hair. To install the Neuralink, a tiny piece of skull is removed and the Neuralink is slotted in to sit flush with the skull. Since this process needs to be extremely precise, the Neuralink team has created a robot specifically for this procedure. Elon Musk aims to use Neuralink implants in human patients in 2022, he told the Wall Street Journal in a December 6 interview. In humans, Neuralink is expected to be first used in patients with severe spinal cord injuries, Elon says in the interview. I think we have a chance with Neuralink to restore full body functionality to someone with a severe spinal cord injury, Elon says. I think, I think we have a chance with Neuralink of being able to restore uh, full body functionality to someone who has a spinal cord injury. Um, meaning, I think, I think we have a chance, I emphasize a chance of being able to allow someone who um, cannot walk or use their arms uh, to be able to, to walk again. In humans, Neuralink is expected to be first used in patients with severe spinal cord injuries, Elon says in the interview. We will have, uh, we, we hope to have this in our first humans, which will be uh, people that have um, severe spinal cord injuries like tetraplegics, quadriplegics uh, next year, uh, pending uh, FDA approval. If somebody has um, like a severe spinal cord injury, uh, you know, to the degree that they, they even, they have um, very limited control even uh, over their facial muscles. I think something that's very exciting as a long-term application is if you can if you can sense what somebody is trying to do with their limbs, what they want to do with their limbs, um, then you can actually uh, uh, do a second implant that's at the base of the spine or or wherever just after wherever the spinal injury occurred, and you can you can create a neural shunt. Uh, so we I, I think long term I'm confident that long term uh, it will be possible to restore somebody's full body motion. During a live Neuralink demonstration, Elon says this device is working well and can be safely used and removed in pigs. So what we have in pen number one is Joyce, uh, and she does not have an implant. <laughs> Obviously healthy and happy. So here's Dorothy, um, and in the case of Dorothy, um, Dorothy used to have an implant, and then we removed the implant. So this is uh, and a very important thing to uh, demonstrate is reversibility. So if you, if you have a neural link and then you decide you don't want it or you want to get an upgrade and the neural link is removed, um, is it removed in such a way that you are still healthy and happy afterwards? And what Dor Dorothy illustrates is that you can put in the neural link, remove it, and be healthy, happy, and indistinguishable from a normal pig. Um, so what you're, the, the beeps you're hearing are real-time signals from the neural link in Gertrude's head. So this neural link connects to neurons that are uh, in her snout. So whenever she snuffles around and touches something with her snout, the, that sends out uh, neural spikes, which are detected here. Brain chips have also been tested in other animals, including monkeys. This is Pager. He's a nine-year-old macaque who had a neural link placed in each side of his brain about six weeks ago. If you look carefully, you can see that the fur on his head hasn't quite fully grown back yet. The links record from more than 2,000 electrodes implanted in the regions of Page's motor cortex that coordinate hand and arm movements. 
Neurons in this region modulate their activity with intended hand movement. For example, some might become more active when he moves his hand up, and others when he moves it to the right. By recording from many neurons and feeding their activity into a decoder algorithm, we are able to predict Page's intended hand movements in real time. As he's playing this game, we're wirelessly streaming, in real time, the firing rates from thousands of neurons to a computer. Using these data, we calibrate the decoder by mathematically modeling the relationship between patterns of neural activity and the different joystick movements they produce. After only a few minutes of calibration, we can use the output from the decoder to move the cursor instead of the joystick. Pages still moves the joystick out of habit, but as you can see, it's unplugged. He's controlling the cursor entirely with decoded neural activity. Our goal is to enable a person with paralysis to use a computer or phone with their brain activity alone. Because they wouldn't be able to move a joystick, they would calibrate the decoder by imagining hand movements to targets. It's not magic. The reason Neuralink works is because it's recording and decoding electrical signals from the brain. During a recent live stream event in front of an invitation only crowd at California Academy of Sciences in San Francisco, Elon detailed Neuralink's ambitions for the future and unveiled some initial results. Elon described the company's goal of using Neuralink in the brain to cure important diseases and achieve a symbiosis with artificial intelligence. Our goal is to solve important spine and brain problems with a seamlessly, seamlessly implant, implanted device. So you want to have a device that you can basically uh, put in your head um, and feel and look totally normal, uh, but it solves uh, some, some important problem um, in your brain or spine. And the reality is that almost everyone uh, over time will develop brain and spine problems. Uh, these range from uh, minor to very severe, but if you live long enough, you, you, everyone's going to basically have some kind of um, neurological disorder. And the Neuralink chip allow you to summon your Tesla telepathically? Uh, definitely, of course. <laughs> you heard it here first. Yeah, it's very easy. That's an easy one. Not only is this device exciting in that it could help restore mobility and independence to the disabled, but their implications of the device include saving and re-uploading memories. Uh, yes, I think uh, in the future you'll be able to save and re replay memories. Um, I mean, this is obviously sounding increasingly like a Black Mirror episode. But yeah, essentially, if, if you have a whole brain interface, everything that's encoded in memory, you could, uh, you could upload. You could basically store your memories um, as a backup and restore the memories. Um, and ultimately, you could potentially download them into a new body or into a robot body. The future is going to be weird. Neuralink devices are now awaiting FDA approval. We're working closely with the FDA, um, and we'll, um, we'll be extremely rigorous. In fact, we will, um, we will significantly, significantly exceed the minimum FDA guidelines for uh, safety. We will make this uh, as safe as possible. And we're making good progress towards clinical studies. Um, I'm excited to announce that we received a, a breakthrough device designation from the FDA in July, uh, thanks to the hard work of the Neuralink team. So. Mr. Elon Musk and the Neuralink development team, if you're watching this, I ask how much longer before I'll be able to walk again, or maybe even rewatch my old memories, because I'm looking forward to one euphoric trip and a better future for everyone. Comment down below how you feel about the rise of these new AI human hybrids. Do you trust Elon and his team enough to be one of the first volunteering to use Neuralink? I think we could be seeing the emergence of one of the most significant technological advances of all time. Like and subscribe, Storm Squad, I love you. See you in the next video. Baby, it's really whatever. Stormy no matter the weather. Subscribe to Stormy and Friends.